In this video, we're going to get a little bit of practice estimating with multiplication. So over here it says question mark is, and then you have the squiggly equal sign. And so you could view that squiggly equal sign as being what is this roughly equal to? It doesn't have to be exactly right. So what is roughly equal to 58 times six? And so which of these choices would you pick? Pause the video and see if you can answer that. So once again, we don't have to get this exactly. We just need to estimate what 58 times six is. And the way that I would tackle it is, hey, can I rewrite 58 as a number that it's easy to multiply by six or easy to multiply in general? And the easiest thing I can think of is 58 is awfully close to 60. So if you say that that is close to 60, if we're just estimating it, well, what would 60 times six be? Well, 60 times six is the same thing as, actually, let me just write it this way. You could view 60 times six as six times 10 times six, which you could also view as six times six times 10. And what's six times six? That's 36, and then 36 times 10 is 360. So I would go with that choice right over there. Notice these other choices aren't, even, aren't anywhere close to that, so we feel pretty good about our estimation. Let's do another example. So here it's where I asked, what's three times 2,890? What's that roughly equal to? How would you estimate this? Pause the video and see if you can figure that out. All right, so 2,890 is not an easy thing to maybe multiply in our heads, but I can say, hey, that's kind of close to 3,000. So I'm gonna say that this is going to be, so it's going to be approximately equal to, or roughly equal to, three times 3,000. Now what's three times three? That's nine. So what's three times 3,000? Well, it's going to be nine thousands. And so it would be this choice right over there here. If what I just did was a little bit confusing, you could view three times 3,000 as three times three times 1,000. This part right over there is 3,000. Three times three is the nine, and you have nine thousands, nine thousand. Let's do one more example. This is going to involve fairly large numbers. So what is, if you had to estimate 5,111 times nine, which of these would you pick? Pause the video and answer that. All right, so I would view this, this is roughly, I would estimate it as 5,000 times nine. And so 5,000 times nine, that's the same thing as five times 1,000 times nine which is the same thing as five times nine times a thousand. Five times nine is 45, so it's gonna be 45 thousands or 45,000, which is this choice right over there. 